Good guys, welcome to another Sonic the Hedgehog and Lord Tomo's Wednesday Night Book Night. As we all know, we'll go through one of my books, talk a little bit about it, and go through the various pages. So let's put him aside and get straight into the book, shall we? The actual book, which is my personal one of my favorites, to be honest, is a Where's Sonic? Sonic the Hedgehog book. Um, basically, what this is, if you're familiar, if you're familiarized with most um, search sort of books or whatnot like Where's Wally or in the States I think it's called Where's Waldo I think I'm not too sure you know the alliteration is basically it gives you a bunch of stuff you more or less try to find in the page and you go through the page after page after page so I do like these sort of books and I always did find you know uh, nice to have as well just to flick through and have an you know enjoyable um, sort of thing really so as you already know it's from the uh, publisher Ladybird they do as you probably know make a lot of, of these books well, back in the time anyway and the title is already pretty much pretty awesome I do like personally the actual Sonic the Hedgehog and his finger that's pointing to you so that's pretty nice at the back it's just got your standard Sonic the Hedgehog and Ladybird join forces to bring you some fast various fanatic and fun filled radical action <laughs> I love the fact that they added a bunch of words to make it all exciting so yeah that's that now this book is more or less is pretty much I wouldn't say hard but I try to get as much you know good pictures as as of it as I can talk a little bit about it and uh, go from there so that's pretty much the first page okay now as I mentioned this will be hard even if you have it on full screen this is being taped in HD so it is going to be hard as you can probably tell by the pictures already so that's the test zone it basically in each zone you need to find one Sonic one Tails one Dr. Robonic one Cow symbol two star posts, two TV monitors, and ten gold energy rings. So you need to find that. So in this page, it gives you basically all the little fun, um, I guess, tests to find all of them. Now, straight at the bat, I will tell you up front, I love this book simply because it has a copious amount of basically bad nicks. In other words, it has a bunch of um, enemies that are very nostalgic to the retro games. So, as I had mentioned, you can try pause it and look for these various uh, things. It will be hard because some of them are very close up, but look, I'll give it to you. So, this is the first one, Emerald Hill Zone, which is alright. Wasn't my most favorite stages, but it was decent. The next one is the Chemical Plant Zone. I absolutely love this stage um, due to its innovations of badniks as well as just the stage level itself. I always had, in games, I always had like a phobia of drowning. <laughs> Oddly enough, I don't get that in real life, but it's just in the games, it's always panicking sound, you know, when he starts counting you down. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Next page. This is the Aquatic Ruin, Ruin Zone. I absolutely love this stage as well. I um, Many times as a kid, I used to always play my Sonic the Hedgehog 2 game just to get to this zone and just uh, bask in. It's beautiful. It was actually a beautiful zone as well as the um, majestic sounds and just the overall design I really felt this stage to be one of the stages where it actually impacted on the universe of Sonic um, but yeah that's that was my personal opinion as a kid I was I, all I described it as well so there's that Casino Night Zone this zone in particular um, playing the game I don't know I kind of found it extremely frustrating because if you look closely see this bad Nick he had a shield now I know that Back then, I didn't know how to, you know, you always, you always hit it on the top or you hit it from the front. Never knew you had to actually hit it from the back, so there's that, you know. But it, was, it wasn't one of my stages that I liked, mainly because I didn't gamble and I guess it promoted to, promoted that, which I'll stick your time. Hilltop Zone. This is another zone that I, pick, I, pers I personally liked. It wasn't my most favorite, but I did enjoy it. Um, so there was that and obviously the various bad nicks and whatnot. I got irritated because there were some bandits I couldn't, you know, obviously take down, but there's that, I suppose. Um, Mystic Cave Zone, another zone that was particularly fun to play with. Um, I did ex extremely like the actual, um, what's the wording for it, the backdrops especially. Now, if you guys ever played Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which I highly recommend, this, uh, it was more like crystallized cave. It, it really gave you a, a different sort of atmosphere other than a cave. It blended between cave and hauntedness I did like that mix they really did well in, in terms of the art design for that so yeah this was the oil ocean zone 
this zone I absolutely hated simply because you know these little seahorses they teleported and annoyed the living hell out of me and uh, yeah it's a zone that I did not enjoy at all but it was a zone that I you know obviously had to to be to get to the next stage now metropolis zone I like the sound hopefully by then you should have been supersonic um, if you're not this zone would be a little uh, tricky even with supersonic um, there was a lot of deadpools a lot of them um, pitfalls for the better of the word so there's that Now, in this particular zone, Metropolis 2, every act consists of two, Act 1 and Act 2. Metropolis zone actually consisted of three acts. This is more or less an, uh, an elaboration of it. And as you can see up here, very nostalgic, running up the actual uh, cog all going up. What irritated me were these little things, these little stars that bursted. You could never actually take him down, which was irritating. So, it was quite, um, I always found it quite interesting that, you know, with every bandit that you have, you destroy it a bird or animal comes out in that one they just committed suicide now the sky chase zone another zone I absolutely loved as you can probably tell Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was one of my most all time favorite games um, I did like other ones but it was this one's simply its consistency in stages and bad nicks and everything another zone that I specifically like this zone was horrible if you were supersonic because you know as you probably know you sped through a lot of things and if you fall down um, there you go This is just uh, an elaboration, the Wing Fortress Zone. Um, another zone where if you're supersonic, it's extremely hard. Try to avoid it as best you can, but obviously if you're supersonic, it's pretty hard. A lot of dead ends, a lot of instant deaths. Uh, that's always uh, irritating. I also personally like the Bad Nicks here. I just don't like the stage. This is the Special Zone. As you're probably familiarized, this is one of the zones where it's kind of 3D isometric view where you're running through collecting uh, rings and whatnot to meet the quotas and once after three quotas I do believe you do get a cow animal obviously the more animals you get progressively harder it becomes so it was a nice zone obviously you never had all these bad nicks you just had obviously red balls and spikes but I guess it's a nice touch I suppose now death egg zone another stage which I personally personally love the actual um, soundtrack to this boss uh, this uh, Dr. Robonic Boss was one that was extremely annoying and extremely hard. Um, this one was fairly easy once you understood his pattern, but the actual boss itself was extremely terribly hard, which was one of the uh, bosses I, I kind of figured, you know, how the hell do you take it down, right? At the very end, it's Celebration Zone. Now, this wasn't actually part of the game. Um, as you, if you ever played the game, it was slightly different, but it's a nice take on what actually happens once they land on the ground. We already celebrate all the creatures you saved and whatnot, which is my personal, I guess it's a nice touch to be honest, as you can probably tell up there, you have good old Dr. Robonic obviously annoyed, so obviously the blanks page, and that's the back. Once again guys, um, if you are a Sonic fan or you are curious to just picking up one or two books from the Sonic universe, look, I, rec I highly recommend one of these, it is extremely nice pickup, pick up, um, especially if you're a fan like myself of the actual enemies themselves. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm a big fan. Um, I hope there were more figurines of it, but obviously that's never the case with most stuff as Sonic and his main cast are probably the most popular ones. And anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoy these segments. Um, I know I do. I personally enjoy doing them. If there are people out there who enjoy them, look, by all means, leave me a comment, send me a message, let me know. It encourages me to continue on and um, buy another books if there are any and whatnot. But anyway, guys, thanks once again and stay tuned for Wednesday Book Nights. I hope to hear from you too, and take care, speed on.